about to hear a romantic drama, Army Kisses, adapted from a story in Streeton Smith's Love Story magazine and featuring the love story girl in the role of Artist Chase. It seems that kisses don't mean very much in the Army. At least in Kiki Chamberlain's gay Air Corps crowd at Fort Arnold, they don't mean much. Captain Noel Barkley is the Air Corps' most eligible bachelor, and he intends to remain that way. All this is being explained very carefully by Kiki for the benefit of her demure visitor, Artis Chase. Well, Artis, you seem to be doing all right with Noel Barkley. He's taken you out three times in the past week. I think he's very nice, Kiki. Yes, they all do. Well, make the most of it. It won't last. It never does with him. Oh, Kiki, I think you're being cynical. All right, go ahead living in your fool's paradise. But when he's driving you to the dance, just remember everything he's saying to you. He's probably said a hundred times before to other women. Well, if his line's been tried out to that extent, it ought to be pretty good. Yes, it is. That's the worst of it. <laughs> Happy artist. Oh, Noel, I've had the grandest time here in Fort Arnold. I'll never forget it. I've had a grand time, too. You know, it's swell just being with you. Oh? You get a kick out of things that other girls just take for granted. And, of course, you don't have to be told that you're pretty enough to eat and that you drive any man crazy. Oh, thank you, kind sir, she oh, said. Please, you mustn't laugh. Please don't. When I tell you what an entrancing person you are, I'm not kidding. Oh, artist, you angel... I've gone off the deep end this time. I'm simply crazy about you. Do you have to stop the car here? Yes, I do. Oh, I see. Artis. Artis, darling. Oh, you're sweet. I love you. I don't want you ever to go away. I want to hold you in my arms forever. Oh, no, don't hold me so tight. It, it hurts. I'm not going to let you go. Well, I'll have to go. I'm a working woman, you know, and they won't keep my job open forever. Your job's here, taking care of me. Taking care of you? I know. We'll get married. Oh, I, I thought you were a confirmed bachelor. You'll get tired of marriage. Never with you. Oh, no, don't. What would your friends say? Kiki, particularly, and that Moorhead woman. We won't give them a chance to say anything. We'll get married tonight. Tonight? Before we go to the dance. There's a justice of the peace right outside of town. He'll do the whole job up in a few minutes. And for an extra ten dollars, he won't even tell his own wife about it. Married? It's about time Fort Arnold got a thrill, and this is it. The surprise marriage. We'll wait until just before the dance is over to spring it on them. But I haven't said I'd marry you. And you haven't said yet that you love me. But you will. And... You do, don't you, darling? It doesn't seem possible that I could love you so much if you didn't. Oh, I do. I do. And you'll marry me now, tonight, before you have a chance to change your mind? Oh, Noel, I do love you. I'm married. This is Noel Barkley. I can't believe it, but it's true. Oh, it's a glorious feeling. Mm, and it's a beautiful night, too. I wonder if there's anyone in the summer house. I'd like to just go down there and sit by myself. Oh, oh, Don, if there is someone in there, I can hear their voices. I wonder if it... Oh, it's Noel. Noel and Kiki, she, she's got her head on his shoulder. Noel, you don't love her. You 
No, you don't love her. You love me. You asked me to marry you the night before she came. Oh, how could you do this to me? I was tight, Susie. I'd, I'd give anything if it hadn't oh. happened. Oh, no, well, how could you? Kiki was right. The things he said, his kisses, didn't mean anything. Well, I've got to get out of here now. if you could ever do anything for me to let you know. That's right. I remember. I want to take you up on that. I have to leave Fort Arnold immediately. Will you take me as far as you're going in your plane and then drop me off? I'd do anything for you, Hardis. But this is government business. It might get both of us into an awful mess. Oh, no one will ever know. There isn't even a mechanic around. It's terribly important, Barton, if you only knew how important it is for me to get away tonight. Please. Well, I shouldn't do it. But come on. Get in. Here, put on this flying coat and helmet. All right. That's it. There we are. All set? Hang on. Yes. <laughs> Artis. Artis, don't cry. I can't bear to see you cry. Oh. Somebody's hurt you. Who was it? Captain Barkley? You're running away, aren't you? You're running away from him. Oh, I know. I can't go home. I don't know what to do. If if you'd like to stay at the airport where we're going, they need a hostess in the restaurant. Oh? Miss Lansdale asked me if I knew of a girl who would like the job. All the girls she gets, leave her to get married to the aviators who come there. She wants a pretty girl, but one with sense enough not to run off and get married. Barton, that's perfect. I'll go there as soon as we land. Oh, what a lifesaver you've been. I suppose it's because I'm batty about you. But Barton... You won't tell Kiki or Captain Barkley where I am, will you? Not if you don't want me to. Come on, Artis. You're going into the dance? Oh, just a second, Mary. I've got the powder on my nose. Gosh, it's certainly a relief to me to have a hostess in the restaurant that I dare let go to these Wednesday night airport dances. Why, did you used to have trouble? Trouble? I lost four hostesses in a row at these dances. <laughs> I hope I've got more sense than that. I don't know how you can stay so undisturbed when you have the handsomest men in the Air Corps laying their hearts at your feet and you turn them down. You've got a level head on you. No, there's no danger of me running away and marrying any of them. Well, all right, I'm ready. Let's go in. Oh, oh, there she is. Artis, Artis. This is my dance. Uh, just a minute, Fred. Listen, beautiful, here's fair game to your heartlessness. He's just as mean to his women as you are to your men. Miss Chase, Captain Barclay. I've heard of Captain Barclay. And I've heard of Miss Chase. Your fame has become quite widespread. I'm sure it couldn't hope to equal yours. Will you dance? Thank you. Nice to see you again, Captain Barkley. I've often thought of Fort Arnold and what a nice time we had. How is Kiki? So this is the artist Chase who drives men to drink. I hear they go quite mad for a smile from you, a date, or a kiss. Really? I didn't realize I was such a sensation. Well, you are. They're really very small kisses. Just army kisses. I learned all about them at Fort Arnold. I see. What are you doing? Put me down. Sorry. What will people think? I don't think anyone saw us. I maneuvered you through that door onto the porch before I picked you up. You were too busy being blasé to notice. Where are you taking me? You'll find out. Just what's the idea? We have a date. It's six months old. You fooled me once. I thought you were everything you seemed to be. Young, sweet, and untouched. I was fool enough to want all that sweetness and youth for myself. It seems all you wanted was a thrill. The thrill of getting married and running away. It's a nice game if you can get away with it. But now I want to be paid for being fooled. Fooled? How dare you bring up that awful marriage and what you did to me? It must have been a big kick until you sobered up and found out what you'd done. Now put me down or I'll scream. Nothing you say now will help you, and screaming won't get you anything either. 
I'll choke you if necessary. I loved you. I loved your sweetness and your innocence. When I found out you weren't any of those things I thought you were and were just one of those girls out looking for a cheap thrill, I still wanted you. It isn't love anymore, but you're my wife. Is kidnapping another virtue of yours besides the delightful art of heartbreaking? You're a nice one to be talking about heartbreaking. Get into that plane. No. Now scream your head off and see what it gets you. Oh. help you out. But where are we? Back at Fort Arnold, of course. Where'd you think we were? Oh. Where are we going now? We're going home. Home? Oh, Artis. Artis, why did you run away? I saw you and Kiki in the garden. She was in your arms. I'll never forget your words. She said, you don't love her, you love me. You asked me to marry you the night before she came. And you answered, I was tight, Kiki. I'd give anything if it hadn't happened. Why? Oh, Noel. Oh, darling. Noel, I almost died. I thought that you really belonged to her and had only married me because you had had a few cocktails. Oh, my silly, silly love. Why didn't you give me a chance to explain? Didn't you see what I meant? I meant that I'd been tight the night before you came. Oh. The night I asked Kiki to marry me. Oh. I meant that I'd have given anything if I hadn't been such a stupid fool. Kiki knew I didn't love her. She was just making a scene. Artis, if you'd only given me a chance to explain. Oh, I'm sorry, Noel. I'm an awful idiot, aren't I? But I loved you. I loved you so much. I couldn't bear the thought that the kisses you were giving me were just army kisses. I couldn't bear the thought that you were here with me, but your heart was really with somebody else. My heart never belonged to anyone but you. Well, you're here now, Artis, where you belong. And you're part of the army forever. I like the army. Oh, come here, darling. What for? Army kisses for an army bride. Oh, the nicest kisses in the world. You have been listening to a romantic drama featuring the love story girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. <laughs>